you know that over 700,000 people in the UK suffer from autism? That's over one in a hundred, and I'm actually one of them. In 2015, I was diagnosed with autism, and ever since then, I've been absolutely fascinated by what that entails. I actually read rather recently that people with autism, Asperger's especially, tend to have very good language skills, um, but they tend to lack communication skills, and I feel like that is down to autism, but they can be gained from RSC in public speaking. I could go on and on about the problems that I had when I was younger, uh, suffering, but I'd say my main one was just strategizing conversations. I didn't know when to start talking, I didn't know when to stop. I just didn't know when to shut up. <laughs> it's just, it was a problem. Uh, but then something changed in year four, because in year four, I found English Speaking Board and they helped me with all of these things that I'd been having problems with. They helped me with my presentation skills, telling me what to say, what not to say, what to keep in. It helped me with eye contact as well, which was something that I really struggled with and still sometimes do struggle with when I'm talking to large groups of people. Uh, and it helped me with social interaction. Not only did it help me to interact with people more socially, it was also a group that gave me social interaction. I was able to talk to people and it thereby just strengthened my confidence personally. Um, and it also gave me that sense of achievement with all of the assessments. It's not something people talk about, but being told you're good at this and being given a certificate and assessment really does help you to believe that, that you can be good at this. After English Speaking Board, I think it influenced where I went in future. I started doing debating when I first went into year seven and by the time I went to sixth form, I actually took part in my sector's uh, European Youth Parliament, which was a real high point for me, actually. Um, when I was told I was going to do this speech, I did a lot of reading, and I came across some really troubling statistics. Uh, I don't know how many people in this room know this, but people with disabilities are twice as likely to be unemployed. And focusing, more importantly, uh, for me, on people with autism, only 16% of people in this country with autism um, are in the full-time are in full-time employment. I have been so lucky with ESB from in year four with a presentation about Doctor Who. Um, I am now in university studying politics, philosophy, and economics, and I'm so happy that I've gotten this far. I'm sure that I will be in that 16% of people with autism who are in full-time employment, but. What about the other 84%? These are people who aren't disadvantaged through uh, so social demographics, like we keep hearing again and again. These are people who are disadvantaged simply by genetics. And I believe that oracy being spread more can actually help bridge or even close the gap that these people actually feel on a daily basis. Thank you. Rishi, we're very proud of you because of the journey that you've taken and thank you for representing us in the way that you do. Congratulations so much.